94 new people died in Final Destination 5, and aside from the 86 bridge victims, the dead included 6 men and only 2 women, an inequality washed out by that sea of grey. With a runtime of 92 minutes, that left us with a kill on average just under every minute. 105 people died in The Invisible Man, which is a big number, but still doesn't put it in the top 5 highest kill counts. The victims were 5 dudes and 100 unidentified people on a train, so hope you like your pie charts extra crunchy. A lot of gears in there. With a runtime of 72 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 41.14 seconds. 116 people died in the purge election year, meaning the Belko experiment has finally been usurped as the top kill count champion. America, fuck yeah! Like all purges, the victims were full of ambiguity. I counted 82 men, 8 women, and 26 unknowns, meaning as per usual, a whole bunch of dead dudes. With a runtime of 108 minutes, we actually wound up with a kill on average every 56 seconds. What the fuck? After hours of work going frame by frame, Zorn and I determined that there were 116 deaths in Zombieland. The victims included 11 living men, 4 living women, and 101 zombies, who I'm not gonna bother breaking down by gender. Not when they match in Dalmatians in quantity. With an easy breezy runtime of 88 minutes, that left us with a startling kill on average every 45.52 seconds. 133 people died in the first purge, meaning yes my friends, election year's reign is over, because the first purge is the deepest, baby I know. The victims included, I think, 60 men, 12 women, and 61 of unknown gender, thanks to all those background bodies. And with a runtime of 97 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 43.76 seconds? Holy shit! Through my completely arbitrary methods, I counted 161 dead-slash-infected people in Rec 3. Probably missed a bunch, probably double-counted plenty, and who knows what the fuck's going on with that gender distribution. So, you know, forget about it. With a runtime of 80 minutes, that left us with a victim on average every 29.81 seconds. Damn! 234 people died in this version of Carrie, which still falls short of the current record held by Final Destination. I can't do too much about the gender breakdown since, I mean, you know, but with a runtime of 132 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 33.85 seconds. That's math. By my count, 274 people died in Brightburn. Other than the 268 plane victims, we had an even ratio of 3 guy and 3 girl victims. So I bet you can barely even see them in that pie chart, huh? With a runtime of 91 minutes, that left us with a kill on average about every 20 seconds. But, I mean, you know. A record-shattering 292 people died in Final Destination. Obviously, I don't know the demographic breakdown of all the 287 plane victims, but aside from them, three men and two women died, so we can put them on the pie chart in some barely perceptible wedges. With a runtime of 98 minutes, we had a kill on average technically every 20.14 seconds, but yeah, you can see here why averages aren't always useful. By my best estimate, there were 376 kills in Zombieland Double Tap. That beats the record of 292 set by Final Destination 532 days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Kill Count Champion, Zombieland Double Tap! Congratulations. With a runtime of 99 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 15.8 seconds. What the fuck, man? Whoa, boys. Now that's a lot of death. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, play the brand new outro music. <laughs>